Hello everyone, I'm Duke James. This is the continuation of my Ireland campaign. So far it is a 1457. We now have four troops, three infantry and a cav. We could get a cannon. But uh, I'm making 766. 766 a month. We have 572 gold. I'm going to build a... City Hall rank 2 in my capital, and I think that's going to be it. I think after this one, then I'll start building in provinces outside of my capital. So our capital now ha now has a largest regional city modifier, which gives some local rural goods produced. see local goods produced based urban gravity and urban gravity modifier there is a minor center of production now so we're getting we're getting one urban production skill a month but we have taken or I've taken economic ideas and I already have four economic ideas done the next one is production rights so that gives urban production power urban production skill and rural goods produced modifier so that'll help get that uh, Tier 2 good, which since there is a minor center of production, we can then attract artisans and get that uh, get that production steamrolling in our capital. There's a uh, level 1 art and intellectual center. I think eventually I'll build an art corporation. We don't have banking. And, uh... I wasn't notified, but the Renaissance has formed, or shown up, so we're going to miss out on that as well, so we'll see. Maybe build an art corporation next to try and get that uh, regional art and intellectual center to get those two institutions faster. And then we have a minor center of trade and a couple foreign students building building a level 2 tier road, so that'll help with production as well. And uh, there's 8 rural development, 8 urban development, and 2 upper class for a total development of 18. Interestingly, England, London's uh, development's 24, so we're only 6 developments away from England. We're going to bypass them soon. It's been a while since England has attacked me. So I'm hoping they... I'm hoping they attack me, and then uh, I'll be able to do that uh, normal thing and get uh, 600 ducats and war ups from them, because that war ups is actually two, two to four ducats, so that's, that's a hefty amount of ducats every month. With those uh, 600 ducats, if they attack me, then I can build the uh, commune hall. And I should have some left over for this province, which is probably where, where I will build after my capital. Because it, it's right there. It's right next to it. It's a nice province. It's got the uh, same modifier as Dublin. Probably these two. I'm a little hesitant to build in this province because the lesser nobles control that, and I don't want to lose the lesser nobles' estate. Because although they haven't given me manpower in a long time, they uh, might give me manpower. I'm not sure why they haven't given me manpower. I do have 6,200 manpower, though. 15,000 maximum. I've been building uh, some trade ships, so we have 13 trade ships. Our force limit is 8. So, because I'm a little bit strapped on manpower and I need cash, I haven't built up to that uh, force limit yet, but eventually. It's going to happen eventually. Yep, so we're pretty much waiting for England to attack. I 
I could theoretically, because I actually can't ally anybody, but theoretically I could ally people. The nations Spain or Castile and France are at their alliance limit, and they wouldn't ally me anyway, but these are the countries that I want to ally. They don't have great navies, though, so if I'm going to offensively fight England, I want to get a bigger navy. Otherwise, France will just sit in their territory and not do anything. And I really can't depend on the uh, French navy because they, they're always scattered. Another country is Denmark, but uh, Denmark's at their alliance limit as well. Everybody's at their alliance limit. I could theoretically ally the Netherlands, except they're a member of the Holy Roman Empire, and you cannot ally members of the Holy Roman Empire. So, that doesn't work. I'm not in a huge rush to ally anybody else, though, because then I don't think England wouldn't attack me if I allied somebody else, so... That's why I'm not in a huge rush. I don't, I'm not scared of England, so I kind of want them to attack me. So I can get those uh, sweet ducats and war reps. So if I ally anybody, they might, probably won't attack me. Let's see. My country is half a duelist and half Catholic. So that's a perfect setup for a civil war right there. There is a influenza in this province. Yeah, let's go ahead and quarantine that port. Don't want that to spread in my capital. Speaking of my capital, it has 41,000 urban pops, 170,000 urban gravity. Most of that urban gravity is from the event, though. Which I can't find. Hey, we're a timber supplier. That's cool. Maybe I don't have that event anymore. That'd be nice, because that would mean that my uh, base urban gravity is just 170 for the rest of the game. Yeah, I like that. It probably it's not just sh probably just not showing up. Is my guess. Because I don't think it's 170 normally. That seems a little high. Oh, it's also because I did uh, increased burger uh, citizenship, so that's probably also why it's 170. Our king is now a master theologian. Okay. Yep, so next thing, just waiting for England to attack. Alright, it happened. They've attacked. Like six months later, they attacked. I think once I'm able to ally France, I will. And then I'll use them to... See, I don't know, because I, I want a stronger army. So I think I want to get up to my force limit before I actually invade England. Alright, let's go free picks. Let's 
still just uh, two, two troops for my estates. Let's uh, get out of this battle as soon as possible. We are building more more ships. Uh, Thirteen lights. They built more lights, though. They have a uh, twenty-three lights. Twenty-three lights and two galleys. The transports. Eh. This is my vassals. Transport ships. Not sure why they have transport ships, but okay. Hey, we got resist the English. Hopefully I can get out of this without losing a ship. Alright, we got out of there without losing a ship. Let's see, uh, da, da, da. we're not sieging, so siegeability doesn't really matter. Then again, we're not looting, so looting, looting ability doesn't really, ma really matter anyway, as well. Let's see, what did they pick? Did they pick anything? They haven't picked anything yet. They're 105% disciplined, though. I'll hold off on that until until they pick something or until they're landing. Or it forces me to pick something. Of course it wouldn't force me, it would just disappear. I think it defaults to let them loot. See an army career. We could lose five army tradition, but the burgers gain some loyalty, or gain some army tradition, but the burgers lose loyalty. I'm going to do that option. Butler has decided to run as far away as possible. They went ahead and strongly encouraged looting, so we actually have the same amount of discipline. They have more morale, though, so I don't want to lose morale to gain discipline, since we're on even footing. I'll just do let them loot. They do have seven sh uh, transport ships. I'm not sure if they had seven before. Seven or six. So we're assuming our vassals show up. We will outnumber them. Or. Yeah, we'll outnumber them. That's a big if, though. Butler's three provinces away. There we go. Munster's coming. Munster has two troops as well. Nice. Normally, they've only been building one. That was uh, closer than I 
thought it would be. They really don't have a lot of troops. I'm gonna go ahead and build build another I'm hesitant to build uh cannon. Cause I feel like that's a lot of cost. I think I'll just build another uh Lance infantry. You know what, let's get a second cavalry. Because we only have one cavalry now. We can reduce our fleet maintenance. I'm gonna go ahead and take the next mill tech. Because Renaissance, I think Renaissance goes up to 25%, so it's best if we take it now. And then we'll be two mill techs ahead of England. You know the drill England war reps ducats The lesser nobles took Dublin from the burgers So the burgers are actually reduced to 6%. The burgers also lost this province to the lesser nobles. So the burgers only control the capital now. But they should hold the capital for ever, because I don't see that going to the uh, Lesser Nobles. And I can grab that uh, 1,000 manpower that I built the Cav with back from the Lesser Nobles, so that's nice. Okay, England ships... Some of their ships are up here. There's that cav unit. So I now have 5,000 troops, three infantry, and two cav. Looks like they're going to land in Loch Garmin. Let's go ahead and walk over there. Alright, I'm going to end this part here and then I'll pick it up in the next part. Finish this war probably in the next part. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.